You're right, guys. Clinicality here, back with another FIFA 16 Ultimate Team Player review. Now, today I have something a little bit different. We're going to be reviewing the upgraded Inform Marco Arnautovic. Now, he was one of the players who got upgraded during the January transfers, and that means his Inform got upgraded from 80 to 81. Now, I have previously reviewed this card before it was upgraded on my channel. So if you guys would like to see that, I'll leave a link for it down in the description and you can go and check that out. Now in terms of the team, I kept him in the exact same formation and position as he was in my previous review of him, just so that I can make a direct comparison. And I must say the team played really, really well. The trio up front played superbly well and I definitely recommend you guys trying it out. Now again, also like last time, I left the player instructions exactly as they were. I felt that he played really well with the standard player instructions, so didn't see any need to change them. Now we played 6 games as always, and we managed to score 9 goals and get 4 assists, which is an additional 2 goals and 1 assist over his non-upgraded inform. And I must say I definitely did feel the changes to his card. He only cost us 18,500 coins, which is an absolute steal for this guy. Now in terms of his base stats, he has 79 pace which is an upgrade of 1, 79 shooting which is an upgrade of 2, 81 passing which is an upgrade of 1, 83 dribbling which is also upgraded by 1, 52 defending is another upgrade of 1 and he has a plus 3 in physical from 78 to 81. Onto the in-game stats now and as you can see the 87 strength standing out once again just like last time, absolutely incredible stats I have. And on a forward player as well, just makes him so, so deadly. Skill attributes, he has some really nice ones. Lots of 80s in there. He has 87 crossing, 83 curve, 85 dribbling, 85 ball control. He has 86 volleys as well. He's 6 foot 4. He can play left mid or right mid. He's right footed. Medium, medium work rates. 4 star weak foot. 4 star skill moves. And he has the flare trait and the long shot taker trait. As we get into the clips, I'm going to start off by talking about the one thing that really stood out on his card. And in my previous review, the best thing about his card was his strength, and once again, that was true for this one. His strength was absolutely ridiculous. He could push anyone off the ball. He is an absolute tank. He just pushes his way past defenders, and it is so nice to use. Now, one of the issues before was, because he was so strong, he also felt quite sluggish. His skill moves didn't feel very good to use, and his dribbling was a little bit lacklustre. However, this time around, his dribbling is really, really nice, and his skills feel good to use. Meaning, you essentially have a winger with the strength of a centre-back. And that's something I've never really used before on a game, because most of the time, wingers are fairly weak. Now, obviously, he isn't going to be the fastest of wingers on the game. However, his pace isn't that bad either. And he really did feel a lot more like a winger than his non-upgraded inform. Now another thing that seems to have changed quite dramatically is his weak foot. Previously I was not impressed by his left foot at all. I felt like it let his card down a hell of a lot and this time it felt really nice to use. Definitely a massive improvement for me. Played a hell of a lot better on his weak foot than he did previously. I mean look at this for a ball. What a pass on his weak foot and he did this time and time again. His passing was still superb, absolutely love playing passes with this guy, he can cross the ball, he can play short passes, he can play long passes, doesn't matter, this guy knows how to play a good pass, which obviously for a winger is a key part of his game, and he also knows how to hit shots for himself. Arnautovic's finishing is absolutely superb, there's no need to bother with any finesse at all because he just hits them drilled and they have ridiculous amounts of power on them. Keepers never ever manage to catch the ball. It either goes in the back of the net or it gets parried for someone else to just come and tap it in. They have so much power and there is just no need for placement with this guy. His jumping and heading are still very very good. I didn't really use it all that much obviously with him being a winger. However, they are still good as well. However, his card is still not flawless because there is still one aspect of his card that was disappointing and that was his long shots. Previously, I wasn't a fan of his long shots. I felt like they didn't have enough curve or accuracy on them. Yes, he has power for days, but it is not enough to make his long shots good. And it felt exactly the same on this card. Nearly every long shot I tried just went way over the bar or way wide. They had no dip on them. So much power, but he just couldn't control the shot. And for me, that was still a massive downfall on his card. 
Now, over the six games, he picked up an average match rating of 8.9, which is up by 0.6 over his non-upgraded version. And he definitely did feel a hell of a lot better. In terms of pros, we have strength, obviously, absolutely crazy on his card. Massively helpful. Just makes him an absolute menace to deal with. Finishing, still incredible on him. Love his finishing. Passing as well. Spot on. Left foot, right foot, it doesn't matter. His passes are superb. Jumping and heading. For a guy who's six foot four, you would expect him to be able to win a few headers, and he definitely can. Dribbling and skill moves definitely feel massively improved on his upgraded version. And lastly, I've put consistency because he did score in every single game that he played, and his four assists were spread among four different games, meaning he was very consistent throughout the six games that I played, and he does perform every single game. You never get a game where you look up and you can't find him because he's sitting there quietly not moving he is constantly where you need him and consistently showing up at the right times cons i've put long shots for me they're still not very good and definitely need a bit of work and lastly i've put lax finesse because as i say he is all about power which is a good thing in most cases however sometimes he could do with that little bit of finesse overall i've given him an 8.5 out of 10 now i do believe i gave his previous version a 7.5 out of 10 which was good but this guy is a hell of a lot better in previous years, I found upgraded informs not to be that much different. However, this time, a really noticeable improvement and definitely worth picking up. And for only 20k as well, he is an absolute bargain. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, a like would be much appreciated. Subscribe if you want to see more. I have brand new FIFA content coming out every single week, so stay tuned on my channel for that. Don't forget to let me know how you guys got on with him if you go and pick him up for yourselves. I always like to see that. Other than that though, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.